Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about our paper. The title is A Proposed Framework for Construction 4.0 based on a review of literature. Our paper is a collaboration of four authors from four different institutions. The lead author is Dr. Anil Shoni. Anil is the director of infrastructure for the Royal Institution of Charter Surveyors. RACS from USA. The second author is Dr. Mike Riley. He is the provost chancellor at Liverpool John Moores University from UK. The third author is Dr. Javier Irizarry, who is an associate professor at the School of Building Construction at Georgia Institute of Technology from USA. And the last is me. Cristina Toca Perez, I am a PhD student from the Federal University of Bahia in Brazil. Let's start with the introduction. The paper shows something that the authors saw working close with the industry over years. The construction sector must transform and modernize itself. This statement is not only considering author's opinion, but also most of proponents' opinion of the construction industry. The construction sector faces several challenges resulting in an overall fragmentation of the construction industry. In this figure, we are going to understand what fragmentation of the construction industry is. As we can see, the sector deals with three types of fragmentation, dues, are vertical, horizontal, and longitudinal. Vertical fragmentation is related to the life cycle steps on a typical construction project. Horizontal fragmentation is associated with how usually project teams work. They usually do not work in an integrated fashion. Furthermore, these issues are repeated from project to project due to longitudinal fragmentation. Moving to our methodology, the objectives of this research were to define and describe the construction 4.0 framework based on a detailed literature review of the Industry 4.0 concept. For that, we performed a systematic literature review mainly related with our four thematic areas. Area 1, Industry 4.0 and its key components. Area 2, physical and digital technologies that support Industry 4.0, Area 3, role of building information modeling, namely as BIN, and common data environment, namely as CDE, Area 4, construction 4.0 definition, components, benefits and challenges. Before starting to talk about the literature review, let me explain how we divided the following two sections the overview, definition and key components of Industry 4.0 are presented in the review section, whereas the information developed for Construction 4.0 is presented in the results section. As I said, in this section we are going to talk about Industry 4.0. The Industry 4.0 framework is based on the fourth industrial revolution that is currently ongoing. The German federal government in 2011 released its vision for the future of manufacturing sector under the broad umbrella term Industry 4.0, which is a confluence on trends and technologies that are likely to reshape the way things are made. Continuing with the definition of Industry 4.0, we would like to use this figure to help the understanding of the term. It is not about the steam that powered our factories in the first revolution or the electrical powered mass production model that dominated the second or even the emergence of electronic systems and automation systems from the third revolution that we are still living in today. Industry 4.0 is about connectivity. As shown in figure 2, the fourth industrial revolution allows deeper integration and handles complex real-world scenarios. As you can see in figure 3, we continue with the key components of Industry 4.0. 
The journey towards Industry 4.0 started with the embedded system and their technological evolution to cyber physical systems, CPS, and further to provide an Internet of Things, IoT, data and services. CPS helps create a virtual copy of the physical production environment that is called the digital twin. Then the physical digital physical loop is created with them becomes the production environment in the factory known as the cyber physical production system CPPS. CPPS results in a digitalized, smart, optimized and interoperable production environment upon which other components of the Industry 4.0 are built. Here is our definition of Construction 4.0. It is a paradigm that uses cyber physical systems, Internet of the Things, data and services to link the two main layers, the digital and the physical. On the other hand, the digital layer consists of BIN and CDE. On the other hand, the physical layer consists of the asset over its world life to create an interconnected environment, integrating organizations, processes and information to design, construct and operate assessed. Now we are in our framework. Look at figure 4. In construction 4.0, the fundamental driver is the use of cyber physical systems. CPS are technologies that bring the virtual and physical world together to create a network in which intelligent objects communicate and interact with each other. The Construction 4.0 framework uses CPS as a core driver and links with the concept of digital ecosystem. As shown in Figure 4, Construction 4.0 consists of three layers. Building information modeling and cloud-based common data environment are central to the Construction 4.0 framework. BIM provides the modeling and simulation characteristics that are a core component of the framework. CD acts as a repository for storing all the data. In the other two layers, the following components exist. In the physical layer, we can see industrial production systems related to prefabrication, 3D printing, off-site manufacturing, and also cyber physical systems as robots, drones, sensors, and equators. And in the digital layer, with the digital technologies as IoT, big data, data analysis, blockchains, simulation, and augmented reality, and virtual reality, among others. In the last part of the result sections, we would like to mention the main benefits and challenges. According to our literature review, the benefits include adoption of a life cycle approach, horizontal, vertical and longitudinal integration, improved cost and time performance, improved safety performance, among other benefits. Based on an extensive literature review, the authors have developed a list of implementation challenges. Some of them are are resistant to change, unclear value propositions, high implementation cost, lack of standards, and other issues. I would like to move on the last part of our presentation, conclusion, contribution, and recommendation. Two main conclusions. As all we know, construction is a globally significant industry that employs millions of people and contributes massively to the GDP of individual nations and the global economy. However, it's conservative and its approach to innovation, so the construction industry has failed to embrace the opportunity afforded by technology. And which is our main contribution? Well, Using the systematic literature review approach, a description of Construction 4.0 and its key components was provided. Finally, as this is an emerging field, the research community must develop a clear research agenda. It is also essential to partner with technology innovators, academic institutions and its researchers and educators to adequately prepare for the implementation of Construction 4.0. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.